How's it going everybody? Welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while because I've been busy with my job and stuff. So in this video, I'll be talking about how you can solve numerically an RK fourth order method system of ordinary differential equations or ODEs in MATLAB. So MATLAB is very useful for solving numerical methods and it does help in these cases. So let's get right into it. So for this example, we will be solving the Van der Poel equations of motion. It is basically a very non-linear equation because it has terms which change very quickly in terms of time. And the first equation for this is dx over dt is equal to y. And the second equation states that dy over dt is equal to mu, which is my damping, times 1 minus x squared times y minus x. Now mu is, will be a non-linear damping constant because the damping will be changing over time. And for this example, I set mu as equal to sine t to the 1 -fifth. So these equations you cannot solve analytically because you have a non-linear function of time in there. So you must use a numerical method. And for, for this, we'll be using the RK fourth order. So here, before I go into my code, I would like to show you a flowchart of my problem. You can see the wrong equal to fourth order method in there. It is basically k1 is equal to y, and then k2 is equal to your function at half k1h and then half k2h and so on and so on. Now keep in mind that there are two equations in here, so you must use two separate variables. I will use k and l in this case, and because I my first equation is simply uh, dx over dt is equal to y, right? So I don't need to make a separate function for that, but to evaluate my function, which is u times one minus x squared times y minus x, that I will write a separate function in MATLAB to evaluate that because it's much easier that way and I can quickly change things. So I would like to show you that because it's always beneficial to show a flowchart before my code. So this will help you understand my code a lot better. So now let's get into the MATLAB code. So we are now in MATLAB and I'm going to type in my values. I'm going to start off with CLC, close all, clear all as a first step. And then I'm going to print my initial conditions as you can see there, X at one and Y at one. So I'm putting in my values as 0 0.1 and 0 0.02. And then I have my step size of, of H, which is 0 0.2 seconds and then my time value, which starts at zero seconds as always. And then my loop, so for i is equal to 1000 iterations, I'm gonna specify my k1 and then my k2. So k1 is just equal to y because my dx over dt is equal to y. So it's only a function of one variable. So I can just directly put in the value there instead of making a separate function. And for l1, I have a func2 value, which I will define later. And func2 solves my function at the values of u, x and y at every iteration. So I'm going to do it for all of them, k1, k2, up to k4. So this one, this time k2 is equal to y1 plus 0 0.5 times k1 times my step size h. And then l2 will be the same thing. But instead I use, for x, I use k1 because that is for x. And then for y, I use l1 because dy over dt corresponds to my l1, which is my equation two. So for that, I will just copy and paste it now because it's much faster. And uh, it, I'm going to fix my indentation because MATLAB puts an indentation in there for some reason. So I have my, I'm just going to update my values in there because it is just faster to copy it and paste it and then type it separately instead of typing the whole thing from scratch, which takes much longer, right? So that's my values in there. So I will update my indices accordingly. And I don't need to put a loop in here because I don't need to iterate the values of k because they will just change by themselves. So I don't need to be like k2 of i is equal to this because it's much faster doing it this way. So k4, you don't need the 0 0.5 in there. It will be just x plus 1 times that and then same with y plus 1 times l. So now I update my x and my y values as per the formula. So x plus 1 over 6 times my, my k values. And then for y, it'll be l. 1 over 6 times my l value. So that'll be important. So for that, I'm just typing it in there. Same procedure, it'll just be a different variable name, that's it. So I have it all in there. I also have my step size of h, which is 0 0.2 seconds. Keep that in mind. And then now I update my time values because I wanna update my value of my damping, right? Because I showed before that damping is a non-linear function, which is given by sine of t to the one fifth. So that is what I'm doing in here. So I'm saying u of i plus one is equal to sine of t times to the power of one over five. So that's my non-linear damping in there. And then I can plot my results very quickly so I can just use subplot. So subplot means I can plot many graphs in one window. 
So two by two means it is a two by two grid, which corresponds to four graphs because it's two times two, which is four. And once again, I'm just copying and pasting it. I can just change my indices. So subplot two, two, one means my first graph, two, two, two means my second graph. So I can just change my values I want to plot in there. So I have T of X and then T of mu and then, and so on and so forth. So I can just change my, my graph title of the axis as well. So very simple to do that. And once I have it done, now I need to define my func to value. So that'll be done in a minute here. So, so that's my graphs. And then now I'm typing in my func to value, which is my function at of L because that function is, is a function of many variables. So I'm just typing it like this. So I'm saying G is equal to U, mu times one minus X squared times Y minus X, because that's my func to, and that is my equation to, and then I have to save it as a, a function in MATLAB. And then, so that is it for the code. And now let's run it and see what it looks like. So once it runs, I, sh I should be able to see my four graphs. So there you go, it pops up. I can see my all four values. And that's it for the video. So thank you for watching. I hope, hope you guys learned something. It was a very quick video, I know. But if you have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to leave it down below in the comment box. And until next time, I'll, I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.